And back on the Yellow Jacket Sports Network, joined now by number three, Zach Lessinger. And Zach, big win for you guys, 89-66 over Montana Tech. Pretty close through that first half. It was a one-point advantage for you guys going in. What was the message from Coach at halftime? And talk about the big win. Um, we just got to make plays and cut down on turnovers. I think that's been our big problem all year, turnovers. So cut those back, play a little bit better defense, and things started falling for us. Yeah, and you got some pretty good extended minutes tonight to finish with seven points. Perfect from the field, three of three. How good does it feel for you to get back out there, um, you know, and able to contribute to the team? Oh, it feels good. You know, it's been a long time coming, and uh, it feels good. Well, looking forward to this weekend. You got EMC Throwback Weekend, Montana Tech, or not Montana Tech, but uh, University of Providence and Rocky Mountain College. And back here in Ontario, which you get the win tonight, you guys, I'm sure you guys are looking forward to the weekend. Yeah, definitely. It'll be a fun weekend. All right, that's Zach Lessinger. Stay right here with us. We're going to get Sven Yoshida on the air. All right, now we got Sven Yoshida on the air, number 32. So, Sven, uh, career high, 20 points for you, 7 of 13 shooting. You guys really started to light, up, light it up there in the second half. Talk about the big win tonight. Um, you know, we had a tough week in Alaska for his GNAG road trip. And today was just about getting back together as a group, redeeming ourselves a little bit. And we, we approached those games this week as, as a GNAG game, you know. Um, we tried to, we tried to um, clean up our, our turnovers and our rebounding and stuff like that, just playing uh, to our philosophy. And we had a rough first half tonight, but we picked it up in the second half. So next two games, we just have to string two halves together and just play as a group and, yeah. Yeah, talk about the efforts on the defensive side of the ball. You guys forced 26 turnovers um, on the side of Montana Tech, and you guys scored 33 points off those turnovers, which, you know, proves to be a, a big reason, um, you know, why the big victory tonight. So talk about your efforts on the defensive end tonight. Well, that's, that's part of our philosophy. We uh, get out there and pressure, pressure hard, try to force back cuts. And we just want to um, force the guys into turnovers, you know, not just on-ball steals, just force them to make a tough, uh, bad passes. And it's just worked both well us, especially in the second half. And we use our chances. We're a pretty uh, fast team that plays in transition. And we just went to the basket and, yeah, made all the buckets that way. And as a shooter, as a three-point shooter, how good does it feel for you to reward Kendall Denham for that nice slick behind-the-back pass? that uh, he got you open for that three-point shot on. Oh, my God, that, that was a great pass by Kendall. And I was, uh, I shot and I was just like, oh, my God, I have, to, I have to make it. I have to make it after a good, great pass like that. Gladly I made it and yeah, went well for us. Yeah, it ended up being a really great play and really got the crowd up and going. So a uh, great way to finish that. So coming up for the weekend, you got two other Montana schools coming into town, University of Providence and Rocky Mountain College. So. You know, you get the big win here, but two more this weekend. What are you looking forward to? Um, just looking to forward to playing together as a group. Every night is fun. It's just fun to play. And just approach those games as, as a GNAC game. You know, it's uh, the same the same focus and just stringing two halves together, as I said already. We just got to play 40 minutes, our basketball, good basketball to our philosophy. And, yeah. All right, well, Sven, yeah, congratulations on the victory tonight and the career-high 20 points. I thought, I thought Tech came in and played well the first half especially, and, you know, they stuck around. You know, I think we got up 11 in the first half and had a chance to, to kind of put the foot down a little bit, and we, uh, you know, had some unnecessary turnovers, but, you know, a lot of that credit goes to Tech. They, they, they hung around, and then, um, you know, the second half we just kind of found a lineup, and I think, I think we kind of warmed, out, warmed down a little bit, and then obviously I thought, you know, we did a great job rebounding as well. You know, they didn't get many rebounds in the second half. And, and I, I, we, told, we kept telling our guys, if, if we don't turn the ball over, if we get a shot, it's either going in or we're getting the rebound. We just got to quit turning the ball over. So, Yeah, and on the other side, you forced Montana Tech into 26 turnovers, and you guys scored 33 points off those turnovers. Talk about your efforts tonight on the defensive end. Well, they're a hard team to guard. They run their stuff really well. You know, they run all the back cut Princeton action. And we knew that going in. There's only, you know, you can either zone it, you can really lay off it, or you can really try to pressure it. And we, we just are... You know, our defense philosophy is to get out and pressure people anyways. So, 
you know, it hurt us early. I mean, you, you probably saw they got some back cuts. They got some layups um, in the first half and even, you know, a couple in the second half. But that's, that's what we're going to live with, the way we guard. We really, we really, really want to guard the three-point line. Um, we did that tonight. I think they were four for 12. They had all four in the first half. I don't think they hit one in the second half. And that's kind of what we hang our hat on is guarding that three-point line. We did it again tonight. And, uh, you know, it, it's a good win. And I, and I feel like we can play a lot better. I, th I feel like we have guys on the bench that are really capable of playing. They just need to start playing better, and, and they know who they are, and, and we need to coach them better. And then we got to, you know, we got to, these in, this injury bug is, is, is a problem right now, but we, we you know, we got to make adjustments because it happens to everybody. Yeah, and, uh, you know, speaking of the offensive side, obviously a lot of players scoring a lot of <coughs> points, but had Sven Yosha up, career high 20 points. He caught fire there in the second half beyond the three point line. Just talk about Sven and, and, and how he's evolved into being, you know, a big sharpshooter for you guys. Well, you know, Sven, it, it was, Sven and Kendall really stepped up because we lost, we lost our both, both our two guards. You know, I mean, Tyler Green's obviously playing at an extremely high level. Level, and David Simenthal has, has, has been out for three games now, and, and uh, we don't have a t we don't have anybody that's got a lot of two guard two guard reps for us. We slid Kendall over the second half, slid Sven up to the three, and and then uh, you know they were awesome. They played well, hit some big shots, and, and you know we we might have been a little bit better defensively out there because of the lineup of Kobe, Kendall, and Sven. Um, that's probably a lot of the reason why we were better in the second half because those three guys were pretty locked in defensively. And, and uh, so that was, you know, a lot of, saw a lot of good things and, and still we have a long ways to go and we have some guys that uh, are going to start playing better. Yeah, and just a little bit of a forecast for the weekend. It's an exciting time to be a Yellow Jacket fan. You all are 6-2. and two. got two more Montana schools coming in this weekend, University of Providence on Friday and Rocky on Saturday. What's your outlook for the weekend and what's the message to the guys? You know, the message is, is, is you know, improve daily. Um, you know, we have a quick turnaround. We have, you know, we'll end up by Saturday night. We'll have played three games in four days coming off the Alaska trip, which is probably not very good scheduling on my part. But, um, you know, I... I, you know, we just got to keep getting better. We got to keep them fresh. Probably won't do a lot tomorrow, but we got to get ready for Providence Friday night. Um, all these frontier, we have, I, you know, we have so much. We have a ton of respect for the frontier. It is a great uh, NAI league, and um, you know, a lot of people say you're crazy scheduling those guys, and I probably am, because uh, it is such a good league, and I have a lot of respect for their players and the team and the, and the coaches in that league are really, really good. Um, but it also helps us because we know we're going to get their best shot night in and night out, and and. Uh, that's really what we're, we're trying to build for our league and, and uh, you know, the, the next 18 league games. And so games like this help us. All right. Well, Coach, congrats on the win. Big win over Montana Tech University tonight. Catch the men's team in action on Friday nights at 530 on the Yellow Jacket Sports Network. Thanks for tuning in.